So we got another character who could kind of cheat RNG too because he could get so fast in on any turnip pull. We're going to be seeing the... Is Ling about to switch to DDD? I don't Please. think he's going to. But this Please. man does have a DDD and he's been bringing it back. A DDD from the Brawl days. He's been using it more of late. Okay, all right. We're not going to see it now. That's kind of chaos, that's kind of chaos <laughs> to do against Wrath Sonic for sure. Yeah, but, if, uh, there's one, if there's one person that you kind of just want to get in and out with, especially when you're playing somebody like Peach, right? Mm -hmm. it's, def it's definitely Sonic the Hedgehog. Right? Sonic the Hedgehog, able to, like I said, now, knock on wood, control neutral by just existing, all right? Yep. So, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so and it's because of his innate ability to kind of like, you know, control the ground game. It might be better for him in this matchup, especially playing against Link. So one of the things that Ling does have, at least in this matchup, is like some experience it against a very different one. There was Kraftus in our region. Very different Sonic, much more aggressive and like way more, way more combo heavy, right? But Wrath is also somebody he just, he is so good at opening up the smallest windows and capitalizing. So I think what we're gonna see a lot out of Ling here, which I already seeing now, you see he's just putting down tilts out there as kind of a check to maybe clank and short and uh, short float nares, just as a way to continuously force Wrath to think, you can't get in on me for free. You got to figure out this timing properly. I, I think this match quite might be one of those ones where we see this take quite a bit of time to get done. Yeah, and uh, uh, rightfully so, right? It's just that both of these characters, like uh, they get a lot off of you know not a little but they get a lot of uh, off of going in and making sure like you know what i'm saying uh it's not so much like punishing each other's mistakes but so much like all right well i can't necessarily well it, actually excuse me it's, this it's matchup not, like this matchup especially is about punishing each other's mistakes yes. when you're at this level you know what i'm saying like uh so little mistakes are made right so yeah. it's going to be on one of them that just how how far can you take that punch right yeah advantage state is so important also thank you for that radar day i appreciate it great run today um yeah but you're right though any any opening you can find in this matchup you need to maximize just like that you got to find those hits because what's going to happen after nooch is reset almost every single time there's no it, it's very hard to continuously hold pressure if you're Peach in this match. And it's also not smart for Sonic to constantly run in on Peach either. So you're looking for those small windows, get those ants, uh, go, get those air to airs and those punishes for being a little bit too reckless in center stage like that. And, but this is this is as even as we expected. Yeah. I tried to, uh, I, I was watching Lily trying to get the turn himself after that, uh, after coming back on stage. And right now, Wrath, ooh, and look at that. Just able, not able to react to the grab properly. Okay, we see the spring coming up. Mm -hmm. And what's up next? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. F tilt is the safest choice there. Don't commit to forward smash because it's easy for Ling to get around that. Just put F tilt out. If he happens to roll, if he happens to jump in, that's going to be a quick victory. So here we go. 120 on Rad. And Rad probably going to play the game patience for the set for the time being. Ling Ling, 46%. Trying to just like, like I said, it, it's hard to catch that hedgehog, man. And yeah, this right one now, is like this match is almost like watching somebody play chess like these two like the, the, the timer is very much in play and they're thinking very hard about each individual piece they move because if they overcommit on anything like right now like ling has been taking a lot of damage trying to find that opening right but it's on ling now to actually put the pressure on he's got to sacrifice a few hits for the sake of maybe finding that ko okay, a couple of forward smashes whiffed in near the middle of the stage wrath still sitting at 120 percent knows that peach definitely hits hard but he wants to hit on himself. We see him going to have these spin dash cancels, going in the back airs, trying to get these up forward smash. He's going to be able to get the up air conversion 109. And it's looking like this uh, slow and steady wins the race is working out in Wrath's favor. This man, three stocks, winning only two. Yeah, it's a, it's the right play to take at this time. If you sit there, you commit. Like Ling is our Ling has showed his cards very much so. He's looking to, to catch you on approach. He's looking to catch you. So what do you do? You got plenty of speed to get out of dodge, and you got plenty of ability to punish and dip if it doesn't KO like that. So you get the back air, you go right back to ledge trapping. You already used the F-Tilt before, right? So you try to mix him up. Dash attack is going to do it. And Ling, with turn up in hand, if he could find one mistake on shield, he can't find a big opening, but I don't think Raph's going to be willing to give it to him. He's going to try and run. All right, and we're going to see the spin dash go across the stage. No up air conversion. Thought he was going to go for a forward air, but here we go. Getting a little bit of damage. Got a nice 29% off of that. So 151 on Ling Ling. Ling Ling has to find a way to just, you know, keep up the pressure with these projectiles and unfortunately going to die to that coast to coast, like, down tilt. Like, this man ran from one. He did a suicide. He ran from yeah. one end, <laughs> ran to the other, and then just forward tilted him. Like, that's how fast Sonic is. That's how he controls the ground so easily. 
it's so hard to react to even offline like you know the online is one thing but just staring at staring that down is just so hard it's one of the best first option characters in the game you're sitting there you're waiting for them to hit that side b button you're waiting for them to run up maybe run up shield and then you just get smacked by that f2 and now he's doing a good job of i got a bonus stock and i'm only at like 60 so what am i gonna do i'm gonna try and swing at you for a second get a couple trades get you that much closer and also we're about to reach that two minute timer which is gonna make it much harder because you already see ling hasn't been able to find the openings to get the ko's easy yeah wrath has been just having his way with the stay so far not gonna be able to kill quite yet at 117 gonna go for the jab turn up not returning Ooh. gonna go for the forward smash on the shield dot eyes in the homing attack getting a little bit more lift on stage yeah, you might need to pray to RNGs pretty soon. You're going to need some type of things to make Wrath scared, scared at all. And also, you saw Wrath, when he was in the one time, the one time up against the ledge where he was kind of getting pressured, what did he do? He threw out F-Tilt the left side and forward smash the other side. He said, I'm going to trade. Like, I don't, I don't give a damn. I'm going to swing too because even if I got a match in this situation to try and back you off, if you, if you get sent the other way, possibly die. If I die here, that's fine. You're going to be at 150 or so. Yep, these guys just kind of just like, uh, well, I mean, Lindley definitely has a lot more to fear, like, and this is kind of the way you want to play when you have one stock left, like, uh, now, I'm not going to say it could go to time, but uh, Lingling has to find a way to secure a, a kill right now to even contest this, and, yeah, going to get the forward throw here, off stage shenanigans, no contest, no contesting it off stage, the down smash, not going to kill just yet, going to turn up, and... Trying to go for the shenanigans and Sonic so fast to just avoid yeah. the side B entirely. Oh my goodness. We're at that window too. 45 seconds is pretty much a done deal. Like if, if, unless you get an immediate KO like right now and then you pull a bomb or something crazy, the game's over. So this is one of those, this is where you think if you're Ling, right? What do I do in this next stage? Where, where am I going? What, what's going to be the scenery choice? Because there's no way that there's a small stage open. Battlefield's probably going to be closed. Smashville's yes. probably going to be closed for construction. f going to seal the deal in that first game. But I think a wide stage ain't it. Kalos definitely ain't it in this matchup because Sonic can run forever. So you, it, it's going to be, you got to think deep into the tank right now to figure out what you're going to do to find those openings against uh, Wrath right now. I know. And it's just like, just a perplexing situation if you're Ling Ling. Because it's just like, I, I, I need to close the distance. I, I have to find a way to keep this man from, from running away from me. Like, I have to find a way to, 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 to box with this man. We took him to Smashville, and it didn't pan out the way he thought it was. Thought it would. So, it's just hard to say, you know, where do you take where do you take Sonic, right? It, Sonic yeah, I mean, if my best bets would be something along the lines of if, say, Battlefield and smash for a close right probably small battlefield that'd be another that'd be like your your smallest similar platform layout but smallest range to cover right and even so there's still plenty of room for wrath to reset he can he can still camp some platforms but at least closes the gap a bit better um as for the choice here is the man with the belly and a plan this is mr hey 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 we got king ddd coming up i am curious as to where we went because stage pick is going to matter significantly with this character choice here we go we're gonna see come out here so uh what is that looking like uh town and city Okay, this makes sense. You know, Town City is definitely going to be something left open. Sonic is perfectly fine here. You got the FD layout. You got the ability to kill early off the sides with those forward airs. And you got a big boy to combo off of these percentages. Something that Ling does get, though, you get a disjoint. You get Gordo that's going to annoy him. You got inhale on occasional mistake grabs. And you're going to live a long time. So Man. let's see if this can work. I still don't think, I mean, this is this ain't going to be easy whatsoever. But Ling, where, like, you remember the last game was kind of swinging on anticipation to put hitboxes out there to cover them? Yeah. This is going to be a game where Ling is going to be looking for hard reads like that. But also to trade a lot more because he's going to kill Sonic a lot earlier than he will unless Sonic gets him at the ledge. Yeah, and this is uh, kind of just the, the plight of, like, uh uh what is that uh grapple's plight is what uh my homeboy uh my homeboy pc used to call it so you have this innate ability to like get huge damage and get this big punish game going to where you can kill you know a lot of the cast at super early percent but you being the fat guy on the pack flight uh, you get <laughs> a lot so, you need a and, couple extra seats to be able to take that fight along the way but it's also you got that fear factor right whenever you yeah. anybody fights heavies period that's oh my god that he was fading away with that side b2 so that factor is gonna deal uh uh, seal the deal when well, you're a big guy you got that you got that innate pressure of just existing at kill percent any stray hit could seal the deal 
I mean, I know we both heavy players ourselves, so we know that fear. But yes. Rash, with that, like with the lead right now, at least it's a little bit less scary because he's gonna afford to just kind of swing along with him to get this damage. Yeah, I'm so for in a lot and for a lot of heavies, especially in this matchup game, really don't start until the heavy himself, uh, until they hit about what 100 to 90 percent anyway. So yeah, I was called to rule 60 and uh, against a lot of matchups. If you're a big character, you're a heavy character. Congrats, you're always going to take that 60. You're always gonna or that 70. It just you know you're playing at relatively kill percents. Then you play the game after that. That up tilt though, that was a nice reaction to that side B. Get to seal the deal and still even here 91 percent. This is something DDD was always gonna be at even if they were at zero to zero because Wrath was going to eventually find the open. Agreed. And uh, the way Wrath is going to end up winning is if his Wrath just kind of just finds a way to ignore Gordo and like uh, just get in with Sonic. Because clearly, because clearly he's not worried about like uh, mm -hmm. DD doing this stuff to him. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, also good, he, he's doing a good job of like dealing with where the, the combos aren't true anymore. Like, yeah, you get your down throw forward air, but Ling tried to go for that back air follow up. Homing attack to beat it. And he's finding the gaps in the Gordo tosses too. Like, Ling's gotta be careful on that platform right there. It, it, it's just, it, it, it's the consistency of being a skilled player like this. If you're a Sonic and you know that you're running it on a heavy consistently, Wrath, Wrath ain't too scared of most of those spots. So that's why he's been able to hold this nice lead. All right, 168. Oh, I thought he was gonna combo in the gourd. I said, "Boy, back throw." Okay, Sonic got though. He, 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 he might be fat, but all right, Sonic definitely got. Woo! Okay, so now <laughs> this is what the game is de devolved into. Okay, I understand. Right, this is this is kind of where we're at. Like he understands that Sonic is like a very, 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 very difficult matchup, and hey, I'm not so, gonna hey, you know what? Sometimes you catch somebody slipping. Sometimes some people fall asleep at the wheel, and you just blow them up with that down B. So. Yeah. It's kind of similar to like you ever seen when Sonic gets into a spot where he's behind in a few games, right? What 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 he will he do? He'll run to center stage and talk a few times, make it look like he's just kind of given up on the game, and then he still ends up winning that game because he kind of like he. It's like you said before, ice the player. That's kind of yeah. what that tactic is. You put fear into them just by doing that down B. It's like what the hell? That was kind of stupid. But it's also kind of like a way of, oh man, I'm checking out, but you're not really. Yeah, definitely uh, disarming the opponent, right? Putting, him in a, putting your opponent in the mindset like, okay, this dude definitely just lost. Oh, try to challenge Gordo to get back on stage. Not gonna be able to get here. So here we go. Uh, Ling Ling, his D3, looking uh, looking like it might be the great beyond here in a little bit. And uh, Wrath is looking to go up, nearly up, because he's definitely in control right now. Anything can happen. I like the Nair. Yeah, just gotta challenge him. Oh, and then the upbeat, like, Wrath, Wrath recognition of this is not a good place for me is so good. He constantly gets away with that upbeat, and then he goes right after you with that upbeat. The face plant from the king himself. The village is no longer without the king. He's been dethroned. Now, this is two games up on Ling. I don't know. I, I, I usually, I try to go like pretty deep analytics to look at this, but right now, Wrath is just being the better player in this situation. He, he's, he outplayed the peach. Ling tried with the, you know, tried with the, the trump card pick of the DDD, try and throw him off a bit. It didn't work as much on this, on this. I did, I don't think DDD was doing necessarily terrible, but he couldn't find those big openings. If he goes back to Peach, do we see a comeback? Are you feeling it or are you feeling like this is uh, kind of like the writings on the wall? I feel like Rath is just in this position to where Rath has total control right now. We've seen this is like, this is, this is... Ling Ling's third character, right? This is his third character. He's rotated through this set, and like, uh, it's just, it's just really, really hard in this matchup. And when Raz starts to uh, get himself in this mode, it becomes a snowball. And I think mm -hmm. we might be seeing that here. I got uh, the smart money is on Raz currently. He is up 2 0. So let's just see if uh, Ling Ling can, uh, you know, put something on the board up here and make it look, uh, make it more competitive than it already is now. Yeah, time to believe in some miracles. I mean, pulling out the daisy, the much more aggro. Uh, and and, and uh, we we got to make sure we separate the two too. I, I know that'd be echo fighters, but I'm not trying to get not trying to get attacked by the character discord right here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> yeah, actually, I I love the sound effects that Daisy makes. She does like the side beat. She's like the yeah, like way more into it than the peach. So you know, sometimes you gotta change it up, do something a little bit different. Here comes the Daisy, already finding a few more like eh, like trade windows, getting a bit more damage on. It's just on if Link can get a lead, 
then he forces Wrath to play his game. He forces Wrath to fight up close, which Wrath has already proven a few times he can do today. But so far, it, with once Wrath gets that lead, it's been impossible for Ling to get anything after that. So this first stock is so crucial right now. Okay, I like the jumping out of shield option. Try to try to reestablish uh, positioning. Here we go. Not going to be able to get the backer off the air dodge. And okay, just respecting uh respecting the ledge a little bit, but going for these backers on ledge. It's our free KOs, by the way. Oh my goodness. A little, a little floating back here. Opening. Yeah. Good job holding shield. A lot of people get scared in that situation. Try to jump in quick. And dodges the homing attack. Oh, the ledge coverage. That, yeah, that's town and city. That down smash will close it. And that is the first stock on the Ling. Ling has to capitalize here, though, because if it goes back to even, we're about right back to square one. Uh, okay, I was about to say that. And that, uh, that, uh, uh, yeah, I got scared with pop. that, too. <laughs> that was terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. Wow, constantly missing with these back ears and we'll get the fair and that's definitely gonna kill. Very well done. Yeah, so, it only take a 35%. That was a nice, that, that was some good damage mitigation there. Three up airs, can I get another one? Maybe, perhaps, no. Gonna be able to find their way back in the center stage safely. Okay, little well, homing attack. And yeah, Ling Ling is just trying to like live in the air right here. Mm -hmm. It's just oh, yeah, not he, working out for Ling Ling. Punishes the side B2. Rat's starting to find his openings a bit more. But still, I mean, Link is... He's finding the small gaps more in this game than the previous ones, where Wrath is leaving himself slightly open. That was good mix-up, though. He's consistently done homing attack, and then just kind of did... Just kind of went to the ground after. That time, he jumped away. And Ling, though, I, I like... I'm thoroughly impressed by how Ling, as every time he get an open up, he's been able to find damage right away to keep this... Just keep the percentage even. Yeah, very well done. I mean, uh, Wrath, though, I mean, Ling Ling, like I said, keeping the percentages even, making sure that, you know, the, the, the main thing here is that, you know, he just doesn't want Wrath to have the biggest advantage in the world, right? He doesn't want Wrath to just, like, be, like, you know, a stock up with massive, uh, like, with massive, massive percent. It's okay for, for a juncture like this, right? 102, but a stock down. Ooh. Stuff like this can happen, right? Like, it, exactly. It just be even out. And, like, all right, well, there's a chance here because I haven't let the lead get out of control. And right now, Ling Ling is trying to put himself on the board, find a way to get back in the set. I like it. Yeah, waking up the crowd sure as hell waking me up. Finds that answer. And now we're at the potential elimination life for Ling. This is last stock here on game number three. Unless he can take it, this is Wrath moving back on to the run back with Jake. Wrath already finding a few openings here. He's doing a good job of punishing the small mistakes. Gets the air dodge. That is dead, my friend. That is a quick victory going to wrath he finally finds ling catch it a few mistakes off stage and he took full advantage of it see this is then that right there is like vintage fgc psychology right because yeah. we didn't see that we didn't see that